That's Rockefeller's Playground? Yes, it is, Sue. Step outside and seize the day now. Hey, good morning. Today we're coming to you from Jekyll Island, and we're here at the day's end. But before we begin our adventure on the island today, I'm going to give you a little uh, lowdown on what the island is all about. Okay, now Jekyll Island is off the coast of Georgia. Um, you access the island by one road in. And there's a toll of eight dollars to get onto the island because part of the island is also a georgia state park now there's two areas you want to see beach village which is here and the historic district which is here most of the hotels are right along the coast here we're staying at the days in right over here there are bike paths around the entire island matter of fact there's a bike rental office right next to the days in um, you can bike the island you can drive the island Last night we took a ride, took us maybe about 20 minutes to circle the entire island. It was a beautiful drive. And if you go down to the area right over here on Beach View Drive North, you can see some great sunsets. Now, as I said, Beach Village is here. This is, uh, has newer shops and restaurants, and we actually had dinner there last night at one of the Irish pubs. Over here is the historic district, and that's where the super rich came to uh, spend their winters back in the late 1800s and early 1900s and we're going to visit that today and that's going to be where we're going to go this morning so it's a great island looks like it's definitely worth uh, visiting great place to come if you want to just uh, maybe spend uh, a week in the summer um, so that's pretty much the Jekyll Island in a nutshell so our next stop is going to be the historic district all right here we go Okay, so you ready to go to the historic district? I'm ready. All right, so we're feeling a little tired from walking up and down that bridge in St. Augustine. So it's about a mile and a half away, the historic district, from the day's end. So instead of walking there, we're going to actually cheat a little and take the car. All right. All right, let's get in the car. <laughs> let's go. Okay, so we're parking down at the Wharf restaurant. There's a big parking lot here that's free good place to park it's kind of in the center of the historic district so what this area is exactly is back in the late 1800s this was the play area the summer the winter retreat for the super rich so Goodyear the Vanderbilts uh, the Morgan family um, many of the of the ultra rich in the late 1800s and early 1900s came here for their winter getaway and a lot of the homes are still here. Some are under renovation. So we're going to walk around, take a look at everything and see what the uh, homes look like. And again, remember, these were the winter retreats for the super rich. So there are some really beautiful walking paths through this historic area, wouldn't you say, Sue? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, take a look at this. Now, along the walking paths, we'll come across the historic winter retreat homes of the super rich. Okay, so we came across our first winter cottage. This is the Moss Cottage, and it's an example of the uh, cottages that those of the super rich lived in during the winter. I don't think I'd call that a cottage. It looks like a mansion to me. I'm wondering if we can go inside. Let's take a look. This is a typical winter cottage here on Jekyll Island. We walked around the outside and peeked in the windows, but we couldn't get in. So it looks like uh, tours to these cottages are very limited. I'm not sure if it's because of COVID or not, but let's move on to the next cottage. We spent a good part of the morning walking the grounds and checking out the cottages. Here is some of what we saw. This cottage was the winter home of the Rockefellers. The Rockefellers preferred this home because it was closest to the clubhouse, which you see off in the distance. Now today, the clubhouse and many of the surrounding historic buildings are part of the Jekyll Island Club Resort. This is definitely a place I could see the Rockefellers, the Vanderbilts, and the Goodyears all hanging out together. 
So we're coming up on the Crane Cottage, which was built in 1917. And actually you can uh, stay here, it looks like. So we're gonna see if we can take a peek inside. We first checked out the back of the cottage and then we took a peek inside. The guest rooms were upstairs, but the first floor looked as it must have looked over a hundred years ago. Next up are the ruins of the Gould family winter cottage. After one of the Gould sons was killed here in a hunting accident, the cottage was abandoned and destroyed. And in the back of the home, you can see what was once a swimming pool. And there was more. So behind the Gould home, they built this building called the casino, which is where they had an indoor shooting range, additional bedrooms, bowling alley, and other activities for the family when they came down for the winter. As we continued our walk, we passed one winter cottage after another. So many of the um, families who wintered here were God-fearing people and uh, they needed a place to worship. And so they went to the Faith Chapel. But before heading to Beach Village, we headed back to the Days Inn for an afternoon cup of coffee. Enjoying our free complimentary coffee. Okay, coffee time's done. We're gonna walk down to the Beach Village, which is within walking distance from the hotel. Ready? I'm ready. There are a number of hotels at the Beach Village that you can see off in the distance. The path to the Beach Village from the Days Inn ran between the hotels and the ocean. The Beach Village is on the uh, ocean side and it's a cute little, cute little place with uh, shops, restaurants and bars. As you can see, Sue is already shopping. Oh, and there's a convention center right next door. Now let's keep walking north. So we're continuing our walk along the beach on this path, and we notice that there's plenty of beach parking here. This is a state park, and I suspect your $8 that come in for the day would allow you to park um, any of these, uh, these lots right by the beach. Pretty nice. Let's not forget the trails. There are bike and walking trails all throughout this island. We're one with nature. It's beautiful here. If I don't make it out alive, he's trying to kill me. Hi. <laughs> well, we both made it out alive and headed back to the Days Inn. The Days Inn is right on the beach. It offers two pools and a hot tub. The rooms are slightly dated, but are clean and comfortable. Hey Sue, it looks like a good walking beach. Yeah. And a good walking beach it was. Now the only thing we didn't like was that the water was somewhat muddy and cloudy. We read that this is common here because two large rivers drain into the ocean nearby. Otherwise, the beach was beautiful and mostly undeveloped. We hope you enjoyed our tour of Jekyll Island, and if you're planning a visit, we hope you found the information useful. As always, until next time, safe travels.